hello and welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to talk about the evolution of man from primates to the present human beings and all the stages which has taken place in the development of human beings now this concept originated from the books which were written by charles darwin and was published in his monumental books which are called as the origin of species in the year 1859 and the descendant of man in 1871 in these books he has described that how man has evolved from the early stages to the present human form and it has also arisen a lot of curiosity in the evolution and the concept of biological development of man there are several concepts related to the evolution of man one of the concepts says that homo sapiens or the intelligent man first evolved in africa and then they migrated all across the world and started evolving in different parts of the world thus adapting to the various climatic and physiographic conditions of different regions there is also a multi regional model which suggests that human beings had evolved in several places over a long period of time and when they intermixed with each other then they formed homo sapiens or intelligent man but a primary source of information mainly comes from the fossils which we have acquired as specimens which have been obtained from africa and eurasia and these species tell us that how human beings they do not belong to a single family they belong to different species and then slowly evolved other information also is obtained and is modernized by the data collected from genetics ethology as well as paleoecology paleoecology and ethology is the study of evolution of man of the past and how landscapes and human beings and animals have evolved over the time period all that led to the formation of paleoanthropology which is the study of human evolution and human being development human development had taken place in several stages from the earliest to the most modern man so the earliest man or the ancestors of human beings the first known human being was supposed to be dryopithecus Dryopithecus are also known as great apes because their constitution their body resembled that of apes. They existed around 12.5 to 11.1 million years back when there was the late Miocene era. The fossils which are excavated are mainly in fragmented form. So there is very little evidence about the Dryopithecus species of man these people used to walk on all their fours they could not walk in an upright position so these dryopithecus tribes were then followed by australopithecus which were around 1.2 meters tall and could walk up straight so they had a straight backbone australopithecus were mostly in the early pliocene period they existed between 5.8 million to 4.4 million years ago and they supposedly walked on two legs rather than four legs and they also lived on the trees lucy is a 3.2 million years old fossil skeleton ancestor which was discovered in the year 1974 in hadar in ethiopia these ancestors also maintained large jaws as well as teeth like that of the apes the next species of man was found in africa itself and it is called as homo habilis which is an extinct species it is the first ever representative of the homo group of human beings which are human like they were the archaic human beings which lived in early pleistocene period and are mostly found their fossils are found in the eastern and the southern parts of africa which is around 3.2 million years old now they were called as handy or skillful because they started using stone tools and also started protecting themselves against the predators they even developed their own vocal language a team of scientists which were headed by louis and mary lickey 
uncovered fossil remains of Homo habilis in Oldivi Gorge of Tanzania. Then man evolved into a new species called Homo erectus, which had almost human-like body posture as well as proportions. They had shorter arms, whereas longer legs like human beings. They lived around uh, 1.89 million years back till 100,000 years ago. Now they were shorter as compared to the ancestors because the torso became smaller in size. The fossils were found in around North Eastern Africa, South Africa as well as in Western Asia. These people started moving away from Africa and started forming social groups in other parts of the world like in China and Indonesia. So these people started using fire in order to cook the food that they ate. They were hunters and gatherers. Thereafter, human beings developed and evolved into Homo sapiens. Homo means human and sapien means wise because they became more intelligent. They even started moving away from Africa and started settling around the river valleys of various countries of the world. These people had more developed cognitive skills. They started forming social groups, interacted with each other, started developing families, neighborhoods, peer groups and also had various social gatherings and interactions, formed the languages, norms and traditions. They even started building their homes in caves and started making modern tools and equipments. Then man evolved into a new species which were called as Neanderthals around 40,000 years back. So they existed around 40 to 50,000 years back and mostly lived in Eurasia as well as they extended up to Siberian mountains. And here mostly the women were more stronger and more muscular as compared to the males. Amongst the Neanderthals, the males used to live locally, whereas the females used to travel in order to join with their males. Both male and female had a different set of rules and roles in the society. They were mostly called as cavemen. They even started agriculture and started trading their products across the globe. Neanderthals were then followed by the modern man or the modern human beings that we see and from where the history has originated and arrived and we still study about them.